Parasite is a new dark humor social thriller, I guess is the best way you can describe it, and it was directed by Bong Joon-ho. If you don't know who Bong Joon-ho is, I highly recommend you go check out films like Akra or Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer, one of my favorite sci-fi films of the last decade, for whatever that's worth. As far as talking about this movie, I'm going to try to be as vague as possible because I really didn't know a lot going into this film, and I want you guys to be able to experience this story for yourself. What I will say about this movie is that it involves two families. One is a very rich family, one is a very poor family. This film explores how the lives of these two different families become intersected through a series of unfortunate events. By the end of the film, I'm pretty sure you're going to be asking yourself, who was the real parasite of this movie? And I think that's the main point. And that's really all I want to say without giving away anything. No spoilers whatsoever. I'm just going to come right out the gate swinging. This movie is the masterpiece, or at least one of the masterpieces of 2019. It is fucking brilliant. Again, I say that as somebody who didn't know anything about this movie going in. I hadn't seen any trailers. I had heard a lot of buzz about it, but I didn't know anything. The only thing I knew is that Bong was directing it, and I knew I had to see it. This movie is so many different things. If I had to describe it in a word, I would call it a chameleon. What I mean by chameleon is that this is a film that morphs and changes and evolves into a different style of film, depending on what the movie needs from it at that very moment, and depending on the tone that it's going for. For example, there are some parts of this movie that feel like a con movie, but then it's also a family drama, but then it's also a dark comedy. There's a lot of really funny moments here. The kind of offbeat, off-color type of humor that I personally love, but at the same time, this movie also is suspenseful. Like, it has some tense moments. So in that sense, it's a thriller, but it also is a movie that has plenty of emotion in it, and then it's also a movie that has a lot of relevant and timely social commentary, so it's about something. Point is, this movie is so many different things, and I can't even cover all of it in one video, especially a spoiler-free video, but I'm gonna do my best. The execution of every Everything that this movie is going for, the seamless blending of tones and styles, is a testament to how great this director is. I think with this film, he has solidified himself as one of the best directors working today. It goes without saying that this movie is gorgeous, it's beautiful to look at, it's one of those movies that's gorgeous without even trying to be gorgeous. The cinematography and the camera work here is god tier. This is one of those films where I can't even say that it's omelet titties, I can't even say that it's eggs on a tit. I'm just gonna keep coming up with weird random breakfast phrases because I feel like nobody has called me out on my bullshit yet. And I don't know, it's kind of fun doing it. As of right now, this is the first film of 2019 that I will dub Bacon Breasts. You guys ever had that good piece of turkey or pork bacon that's cut right from the pig's titties? That's this movie. Isn't it weird that I want that quote to be on the Blu-ray somewhere? Like, I just want it to be somewhere on the back of it and it just says, The cinematography was pig titties! Yeah, yeah, I know I'm a weird-ass nigga, but you ain't gonna beat my ass for it. There is not a single wasted frame in this entire film. Almost every single shot and movement of the camera informs the characters informs the story, or pushes the themes and the messages that the movie is going for. In that sense, this is a film that has not only great storytelling, but it also has great visual storytelling. Perfectly convey the tone and the emotion that it's going for, while at the same time informing you and educating you about what it's really about. From a pacing and editing standpoint, I mean, how does this movie not at least get nominated for Oscars? So well paced. It's a movie that's a little bit over two hours long, and there are a lot of scenes where characters are just talking, and I was not bored, not a single moment. Hanging on to every character characters every single word and that is a testament to not only how well the dialogue is written also how well these actors were able to carry this out and also how well edited and paced the film is. This film flows like the Nile River. Almost every scene in it builds and builds and builds into something truly great. By the third act my jaw was on the floor. In terms of editing every scene is cut exactly the way it should be. The camera work, the pans, the movements, the wide takes, the over the shoulder shots. Everything is cut and framed exactly the way it needs to be for that scene to work. Also I'm going to give a shout out to the musical score here. The musical score is also god tier just like the rest of it. It's one of those musical scores that just like the plot of the movie, it kind of sneaks up on you. It has a few twists up its sleeve. By the end of the film, it's a musical score that was ringing in my ears as I walked out of the theater. It goes without saying, but the actors are all great here. They all feel like real people. It, one of the best things about the character work in this movie is that you loathe these people, but you also perfectly empathize with them and understand them. This is a film that has a lot more on its mind than just entertaining you. Like I said, it's a film that has a lot of dark humor in it, and it's one of those things where I was smiling and laughing throughout the entire runtime. It's a film that's so much more layered than it just being a simple dark comedy. This is a film that also takes a look inside your own head as a human being. It makes you question the characters and their motives and their actions, but it makes you question yourself as a person. And this movie takes a deep dive and a look at human greed and stuff like that. This is a film that has a lot of social commentary. It deals with the rich and the poor and the difference in the classes. It has a lot to say not only about how the rich and poor view each other, but also how they view themselves in conjunction 
conjunction and comparison with each other. In this movie, from the edits to the cinematography and camera work, the musical score, the writing, oh my god, the writing, with the twist and turns, the fact that this was a movie that was consistently able to surprise me from beginning to end. I know it's a little bit over two hours, but I didn't want it to be over. I wanted more movie. The only real negatives that I can find with this film is I do feel like the ending is a little bit Return of the King-ish. As Return of the King was its own thing, not every movie can pull off the Return of the King ending. This movie, I feel like, dragged a little bit towards the finish line. One of those multiple endings things where you feel like it's gonna end multiple times, but then it keeps going, and I wasn't, like, irritated by it. It's more of a nitpick than anything. There was a flaw that I had about a character making a decision that I didn't think necessarily fit, even though I understood why they made the decision. But then I thought about it, and I'm like, that's a nitpick that's not even worth mentioning. Parasite is an absolute mind-blowing masterpiece. It is funny, it is emotional, it is relevant, it is timely, it is extremely well made. If there is a movie theater anywhere near you, you have to check this movie out, just to see the pig titty cinematography alone. Parasite was an incredible, amazing, brilliant experience at the movie theater, and I'm gonna give this one the highest rating on this channel, Superman Prime. Those are my thoughts on Parasite. If you have seen Parasite, tell me what is your favorite Bong Joon-ho movie that he's made so far. Please like and subscribe to the Super Fan Show, and as always, if you like what you see, tell me how you feel, and stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.